Hey, dear Kinship members, friends, and fans of SDA Kinship. My name is Floyd Ponitz. I'm the president of SDA Kinship. Now, for those of you who might not be familiar with me, and um, as I looked at the day 13th, I realized that the month is almost half over. And, uh, you know, the holidays were a whirlwind of activities. I was on vacation out of town on the beautiful island of St. Martin, and it was a great time celebrating Jeff and uh, my anniversary our 19th anniversary of being together and our eighth anniversary of being legally married. So uh, anyway, it was a wonderful time. Uh, there was actually another kinship member who was vacationing on the island and I got to connect with Alex and, uh, and his partner. And uh, so it was a fun time to just enjoy the beach, get away, that kind of stuff. And then New Year's came and uh, it was just a whirlwind of activities. And I haven't had a chance to say hi and happy new year, happy uh, and prosperous new year 2023 to all of our, our uh, members and our followers. Um, at the beginning, just last week, last weekend, uh, I was in Washington DC for the Q Christian Fellowship Conference and uh, the QCF Conference uh, this was the fourth time that Kinship has had a booth there, a table in their exhibit hall. And I was privileged to be there and share with Region 2, uh, the members there, uh, just the, having a presence there, sharing with people what Kinship is about and connecting with the local folks. And it was really meaningful for me to be able to do this. Uh, always good to, uh, to see our members in all parts of the world as I travel around or as they travel to uh, to the areas where I am at. So it was a blessing. The conference was great. Um, you know, it was uh, several hundred people, five, 600 people perhaps there at the conference. And uh, it was just a joy to fellowship with other Christian queer uh, folk who uh, love Jesus and, and want to get together and, and worship in community. So that was really great. And afterwards, I stayed a, a couple of days, uh, had the privilege on Monday morning of going with our church um, uh, relations director, Steve Chavez, to visit the GC headquarters. And uh, it was a blessing to do that. I don't think I've ever taken the tour before. And so we got to tour around and because Steve had worked there uh, for many years in the past, uh, he was able to give me an insider's tour, and we actually got to connect with several of the members there, uh, several of the employees of the general conference there, and uh, just have a, some meaningful conversations, connect a, a face with a name, and let them know that uh, SDA Kinship cares, and um, yeah, we're actually able to give away some of uh, Alicia's Johnson, Alicia Johnson's book, uh, The Bible and LGBTQ Adventists to uh, a few of the people there. And uh, although I did see Ted's office, uh, the door was shut and I was told that it was not a good idea to knock on the door. And so I didn't get to have a conversation with our general conference president, Ted Wilson. I had sent him a note letting him know that I was gonna be there, but uh, didn't receive a response. Uh, I did get a note from the office of the president saying that they had received my note and hoped that I had a great tour and it was left there. So anyway, uh, but it was a fun experience. I have a lot of um, emotions and feelings about being there, seeing that, hearing the presentations, et cetera. And maybe at some point I'll, I'll share some of those with uh, people who are interested in just hearing uh, my thoughts and my feelings about being in that space. Um, and then Monday night, uh, we met with some of the, uh, the pastoral staff at the Sligo SDA Church and pastors from Tacoma Park and also from Spencerville were there, as well as just some allies and people in the congregation who want to share. It was like 25 of us um, that uh, just kind of sat in a circle and shared what it meant to be an affirming uh, uh, affirming member of the LGBTQ community 
and some of the challenges of being a pastor and, and leading a church that might not be totally affirming um, and still being welcoming and uh, meeting the needs of, of the, uh, the queer members of the church. So I feel it was a very positive um, meeting and Kinship is actually hoping to do meetings like this all over the United States, all over the world, if possible, in the next 12 months, one of the, uh, the goals of SDA Kinship. So if you uh, live in an area where perhaps your pastoral team or some members of your church are willing to speak with Kinship, let me know. We can either do an in-person kind of thing, depending on the geographic uh, area, or we can do a Zoom with your pastors and just share Kinship's vision, Kinship's hopes and dreams, and uh, some of the challenges and, and uh, work with the local pastor, the local congregation to see about making the, uh, the church an actual more affirming or more welcoming spot for uh, queer Adventists. Uh, another one of my goals for the new year is to uh, make kinship much more familiar to the Adventist church at large. While visiting the headquarters, uh, it was said that we have approximately 22 million Adventists around the world. I think 2 million or something like that live in the United States, which means we have a huge number of Adventists outside of the United States, um, especially in Africa and in South America. So we have a, a real challenge ahead of us to let people know uh, that we exist. Uh, I still feel that SDA kinship is one of the best kept secrets, sadly, in the Adventist church. And um, I'd like to then make 2023 challenge everyone to change that. And wherever you are, um, tell people about SDA kinship and uh, that we are a safe space for queer Adventists. If you don't already have uh, the button to wear to church, let us know and we will be happy to send you uh, a button just to raise awareness, to create a conversation around, uh, it's our logo. And so to create a uh, conversation about what SDA kinship is. For way too long, we've just been a small community of queer Adventists and a few parents and a few allies. And that really needs to change it doesn't matter if people agree with us or doesn't don't agree with our, our stance on the, the queer issue. But the main thing is that people are aware that we exist and um, with the need is there, they have us as a resource to, to go to and uh, we'll know where to find us. And uh, this goes for the average person sitting on the pew as well as pastors uh, from the pulpit. Um, if you're a pastor and listening to this, I would challenge you to include the LGBTQIA+, the queer, the rainbow, however you want to call us, uh, in your morning prayer at church or mention us in your sermon as just um, another marginalized group. Uh, don't pray for us because you're wanting us to change, but pray for us because we are part of the Adventist church and just giving us a name or naming us in your prayer, in your sermon, gives power and hope to the queer Adventists that are sitting in your, in your congregation. Um, uh, and if you can do this, uh, I think it'll, make a, it'll start to make a big difference. It will have people ask you perhaps why you're doing it. And uh, yeah, uh, it'll mean the world to the queer person that hears you praying for them, not because of their sins, but just because you care and that we are a part of your church, of your congregation. Um, I'd like to apologize uh, to our members and those who are on our mailing list uh, that we've had some website issues and our webmaster is working almost night and day tirelessly trying to get all that resolved. Uh, late last year, 2022, we got hacked, and it was a really strong bad hack that took the website down, and uh, we almost had to recreate it from scratch, and it was a good time to uh, just redo some things, and once we got the mailing system back up, 
Um, many of you got mail from Kinship but couldn't open up any of the links or the pictures or anything. And it was an iPhone, an Apple issue actually. Um, so we have now uh, switched over to using MailChimp as our email tool. So uh, I think starting now with the next mailings coming up, uh, the mailing should be going much more smoothly. You should be able to open up the links and um, uh, stay in tune and stay in touch with, with what Kinship is doing. The, the one piece that's not quite totally there yet is the new member registration. So uh, that's just like almost finished, almost there. And hopefully within the next couple of days, uh, that will be up and running. So uh, we can have new members signing up again and joining us and uh, being connected. And that's the main thing about signing up as a member. Uh, it's not just, um, yeah, just being a member, but we're wanting to connect you with uh, other members around you, uh, other members that share the same interest as you. Kinship, one of Kinship's missions or, or goals is to create a safe space and to build community. And that, that is our goal. And if you feel that we're not doing that for you or you would like more community, please, please, please contact me and let me know what we can do better to get you connected uh, with the rest of the membership. The, the main ways that we do connect is either via the Facebook groups, uh, the private Facebook groups, or via the WhatsApp groups. Uh, WhatsApp has really become a great tool. And if you need some help with how to install WhatsApp or how to configure it so that you're not constantly getting uh, beeped every time someone posts something, uh, but yet enjoy the connection, let me know and I can help you uh, configure it to mute the, uh, the, uh, the beeps uh, but yet check your um, check your group and uh, stay informed and and please post. I mean, if you want to just uh, read the messages, that's great, but uh, feel free to jump in and uh, agree, disagree, share your thoughts, your concerns, whatever, anytime. Uh, that's what uh, the groups are there for. Uh, we also have the social media, the, uh, the, uh, the official at SDA Kinship uh, social media on Facebook on um, Instagram, on Twitter. You also have my somewhat cheeky, uh, I call it cheeky, my somewhat uh, pushing the envelope uh, Twitter uh, account, uh, Kinship Prez, K-I-N-S-H-I-P-P-R-E-Z. And I would encourage you to, uh, to follow me there, to comment, like, forward, retweet, uh, whatever uh, I'm using that. And also I've started using my, my personal Instagram account as uh, uh, also my kinship. And uh, I know often we're told that we have a queer lifestyle, whatever lifestyle meaning is. And so I've started hashtagging a lot of my post gay SDA lifestyle. And, uh, and it includes just doing normal things of walking around, traveling places, um, eating at restaurants, whatever. Uh, so I'm going to work on trying to do better in posting that on my personal uh, Instagram account. It's simply my first name and last name, Floyd, P-O-E-N-I-T-Z. So um, if you want to follow me there and like things, I would appreciate that as well. The more we can share with others, the more of a voice we have, the more people get to know us and realize that um, we're not really so different than, than they are. I do look forward to 2023 as a wonderful year for kinship. We have a lot of things planned. Um, I'm gonna be able to hopefully announce kinship with a camp meeting within the next couple of days. And uh, so you can start planning for the date and the time uh, and the place for that. We already have uh, the European kinship meeting uh, scheduled and it is going to be the, uh, the first week and I don't have the dates in front of me, unfortunately, but there'll be more announcements. But it's the first week in September, the first few days uh, or weekend in September. And it's going to be held at the Adventist Theological Seminary in Germany. And that is between the towns of, it's going to be west of Berlin and east of the town of Magdeburg and uh, kind of in the middle of that. So 
uh, just a short train ride from, from Berlin. So anyone who wants to attend this year, it's going to be in English. Uh, and we're hoping to have a large crowd uh, attending. So if you want to make plans for that, I would love to see you uh, joining us for European Kinship Meeting. Um, trying to think, there's a lot of things happening. We're going to have lots of conversations. Alicia's book, Alicia Johnson's book, The Bible and LGBTQ Adventist is available. Please share that with your family. It's written for the conservative Adventist who um, wants to remain a conservative Adventist and still uh, learn to accept their queer uh, family member uh, or a friend or ally and uh, also even affirm uh, relationships and uh, a gay marriage, queer marriage. So, um, so yeah, yeah. I hope to do more videos, more communication with you. Um, I know that many times I have a lot going on and I think I'm communicating well and I know I'm not uh, in actuality reaching everyone. And uh, so, um, please let me know I'm accessible on WhatsApp or info at sdakinship.org as an email address uh, to reach me. Remember that the first Friday night of every month, and write this on your calendar, is Kinship Worship, and we will try to have uh, uh, lots of new worships this, this month, as well as announcements of what's happening that month. We have uh, Zooms, we have the Families and Friends Zoom or Roundtable, and that happens on a Sunday. And um, uh, invite your family, invite your friends to join in. There is power in talking with other parents, other allies who are affirming and helping um, those who are not quite on there yet or who are on the journey to become more so. Um, yeah, it's January. Let's uh, enjoy the rest of the, uh, the month. And uh, just remember that God loves you. Your kinship family is here. We're very diverse um, in, all, in all categories, age-wise, uh, members from teens uh, to 90s. Uh, we have those who are side A, who are side B, uh, who are super, super conservative Adventist and uh, still, you know, attend church and feel comfortable in church every Sabbath, every Wednesday night for prayer meeting, et cetera. And that is wonderful. We have those who have left the Adventist church. We have those who are uh, former Adventists and maybe now identify as, if, as atheists. And that is okay too. Uh, we want you to be well on your journey. Your mental health is very important. So wherever you are, uh, it's okay, it's okay. And you can be and are a part of kinship just as you are. Um, uh, yeah, we, we don't like to, we're not a church. We're a, a support community, supportive community. Uh, interesting story, we had someone at the QCF conference come to our booth and uh, he was a little irritated and he wanted to know why we had a booth there at a queer conference when we were promoting Adventism, which is a non-affirming, officially non-affirming community or, or church. And so he was a little perturbed why we were trying to be deceptive and lead people to Adventism, knowing that they were not going to be affirmed. And so we uh, explained that we're not a church. Uh, the Adventist church is there. We're fulfilling a need that the Adventist church doesn't always do a good job of, of fulfilling. And that is creating a safe space for the marginalized, uh, especially the queer community, our families, our friends, our allies. And once uh, he knew that we were there only to let him, let uh, people know about what kinship is as far as a community, uh, he was much more uh, happy and, and uh, wasn't irritated anymore. So remember that kinship is not a church. Um, we all come from uh, an Adventist background, and some of us still want to hold on and do hold on to that, and others have moved past that. Um, and it's a journey, and we need to talk more about it. I think that ties in directly with our, 
our mental health, our mental wellness, being able to talk about where we are in our journey, our frustrations, our joy. Uh, there are a lot of great things about the Adventist church, but there are also a lot of things that really suck. And the way it, one of those is the way it treats the marginalized community, not only the LGBT uh, queer community, but uh, for those of us listening to, to me talk now, that is, is the, the marginalized that we're particularly focusing on. And uh, I realize that the church is not going to change its policy, uh, at least not in my lifetime. And, um, you know, I try to explain that there's the church that's you and me sitting on the church pews, the actual congregation, but there's also the church, the organization, the structure, and people like Elder Ted Wilson, Alexander Bryant, and, and all the, the vice presidents and leaders in the church, they're employed to actually protect the church, to keep the church going. And at some point, you know, maybe it's changed its stance on other things throughout the years. Maybe it will uh, change its stance on the queer community, but I'm not holding my breath out for that. Um, I still identify as an Adventist, but that's a self-identification. I feel that I have outgrown the possibilities of what the Adventist church can be and the compassion it can show towards the LGBTQ community. And so I'm okay with saying I'm a progressive Adventist who uh, has outgrown the structure of the general conference. Uh, and I don't necessarily adhere to all of the, the 28 fundamental beliefs just because I don't think that they really, some of them don't matter to a personal relationship with God. And um, so I don't feel that I am out of compliance or uh, that I'm being, um, yeah, sinful by saying that this is my journey. And I hope that you are authentic and true to your journey and allow other people to have a walk parallel with them, but also to have their own journey. And so that's my wish for SDA kinship for this new year. It's my wish for you to experience joy and happiness and fulfillment in being who you are and share with us within kinship. And uh, let's walk together. Let's speak out together. The only way the church ever will know that we exist and, and acknowledge us, whether they can change to agree with us or not, uh, but acknowledge that we exist within the community and the body of Christ is to speak out and let them know uh, that we are different than they are uh, on some points. So anyway, that's that's my my speech, my hope, my wish for you in this new year, 2023. And um, if you're interested in volunteering, Kinship is, the structure is a volunteer organization. We have lots of uh, board positions as well as staff positions that uh, we need your help with. Uh, the board is gentrifying, becoming older. Uh, I'm getting older. Uh, many of us would like to pass the baton on to someone who has the energy, the drive to make a difference, be part of this kinship movement. And so please step forward, contact me, let me know that, hey, I have an interest in being a leader to, uh, to helping make a difference within the, the global Adventist world of 22 million Adventists. So have a good rest of the day, uh, good Sabbath coming up, and uh, just be blessed. And again, know that God loves you as well as we do. Take care, happy 2023.